I have to say that number three is what brought me to the world of Mala. I was a very, very young person studying in the Glinka Choir School in what was then Leningrad. And the building of the school is connected with the building which is uh, the concert hall called uh, Glinka Capella Hall. And at that time, Philharmonic Orchestra, they sometimes rehearsed in that hall. And uh, between classes, we had breaks of 10 to 15 minutes. And I always ran inside into the next building uh, to see what was going on. And that day I am arriving and I'm behind the orchestra and there was absolute silence. And suddenly some amazing, very, very soft sounds have emerged from the string section. And it was a miracle that I have never experienced before. I was so mesmerized by that. I stayed, I forgot to go back to, to the next class that we were having. And it made such an unbelievable impression, I never got over it. And it was at that, on that day, that the dream to get to know, to get close to Mahler's music, and eventually to conduct it, because I already knew that I wanted to be a conductor, even at that age. Uh, that dream was born, later realized, and stays realized without ever stopping being a dream. Because each time is different, the music remains what it always has been, it's just that we change.